why doesn't water meet you want it tonight? It's just a water. It's water. Oh, is it? That's okay. 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 And not here? No, the American Legion. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's a big day. Yeah. Cooking chicken, shredding Did chicken, they mind the chains around their ankles? I know. That's like, yeah, that. that. that's 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 that. that's that's not going to slow down. Yeah. I'm hoping not because, you know, we expect a lot of her. What? He said that she mind the chains and the chains of the stuff. So you already heard about it. I heard about some time ago, and I knew this was coming, and you got this. I didn't think this was anything to, with CIP. That you it, it wasn't CIP. It, it was, was the wetlands thing. You got it because of planning. Um, it's a renewal of the of, of what? Is it already there? Any service that needs to be replaced or repaired or something? It's they, in service, and it just needs to be replaced. And we need to grant access to it. We're service. not doing anything. Um, it's, it's, we're just being notified that the Bureau of Aeronautics and whatever filed for a dredge and fill wetlands permit with the This is not your noodling, no? Did Caroline not print the noodling? I did not print the noodling, but... Maybe one, maybe two. I can print the noodling. Kevin and I can look on. Guaranteed, won't it? <laughs> Good thought. A little guaranteed. We'll be able to away till you know, one day. That would have helped. That's what could be a little bit. Is that your money over the water is in the Who is it in the area? It's a local woman sitting there. Are you there? Am I there? I was there. These are, sorry, noodling notes. Okay, never mind. Sitting next to Jen Lynn. Thank you so much for coming. Who's not? Who's not? Who's not? Who's not? And well, then, there's yeah, this one that's coming. coming. You're right. She might have. She was right next to me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who she was. Okay. No, I don't. She is in the water district. She is. So the 
this worksheet has a lot of sheets to it. Oh. Um, so oh, I printed oh, all the printed all the sheets. Okay. So this is double sided. It's black and white, so you don't confuse it for what you're already looking at. And then here's the front, the main well, page, which is I'll, also double sided. But know. this is not color, so okay. it can I'll be not confused with the other. And then all right, so while you're distributing that, I'll call you into the word. Thank you. Nice to see everybody here on this warm evening. Love you. Um, I did not uh, set out an agenda, but it's, it's pretty simple. We'll just review um, the meeting notes of last time to see if anybody has any questions. And, um, and then start reviewing where the CIP is. So uh, I had one a comment on the notes by email, and that was that it I didn't say that I was from the budget committee, so I did make that change. Thank you, Caroline. Was there any, did anybody else have any questions about the meeting notes? I don't know if I hope that we've done anything else I can do this week's notes, please. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I also sent, uh, when I sent the CIP out to you, the, the version 2, that's the one that really just has pretty much as the intake that we got from the department heads. And I sent them to the department heads and didn't hear back. Granted, it was only yesterday morning, but did you hear anything, Caroline? No. So I assume that I I, I, I got it the way that they wanted to see it, <clears throat> including, you know, for the highway department, I zeroed out the backhoe and um, put in a new excavator, which sort of came out kind of ad hoc at that, at that meeting. Um, and I, the, so, so the things that get zeroed out, I did keep them there for the most part. So Quonset have huts under transportation is there, you know, zeroed out. And next year, if it still looks like we're not having Quonset huts, we can sort of delete it then. Or I could delete it tonight. I just, you know, I wanted to make sure everybody was clear on that. So, so given, um, <clears throat> given what people gave us, is there anything that we know in addition with the town administration, Carol? Not at the time, no. Okay. So given that, then you can see that the bottom line is, uh, you know, two hundred and thirty-three thousand in twenty twenty, two hundred and twenty twenty-one, two sixty-five in twenty twenty-two. So it's not, you know, it's not as flat as it could be, and it's it's the big numbers. Okay. Right. So in comparison to this year. This I thought it was 179. This says 176, but it's somewhere. It was somewhere around there. Yeah. So then I started doing it. I, if this, I don't know if there's anything you want to say on on the plan as as it just tur as it uh, organically came out from the department. But if you wanted to look at the what I've done, so let me bring that up. It's just a quick question that didn't drop, drop that we had asked. Um, there was a couple of department heads that we were waiting on information. They were going to find some more information and return that information to us. I know some of it was value of vehicles. I um, mm -hmm. don't think anything was grant related. Um, but there was, some, there was some information we were waiting to hear back from. I just want to make sure that you heard that back from. Mm -hmm. Like I, The one that sticks in my mind is... You know, against mm -hmm. the articulating law, right? Because that's uh, you know, right. the value. you want to talk about that, I'm, I'm okay to talk about that. But they're still waiting. waiting they're, they okay. themselves are still waiting for a value for those two vehicles. So you wrote this as what you had for information is we don't have that information. No, so and I would is. still have put it as it pretty much as its cost because the trading wouldn't happen. Well, it would depend on what happens. At that same time frame, exactly. It's at that same time frame. If we're selling it, then we're actually paying yeah. the full whatever it is. Right. I think you need to yeah, recognize so. the, the whole you know, thing. Unless, Wait, other end of unless there's something in particular, something special, we know ahead of time it's a tra trade. I don't want to think about trading. Yeah. It's your meeting, you continue. That's, a, that's okay. I appreciated that comment. But um, I, for what, you know, Miles and I have just kind of said, I think, and I think Caroline was kind of knocking her head. So we've just got the full freight there. So it will it will have an impact though on the overall tax effort of because once 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 the board gets down to actually uh, incorporating this with the operating budget with cap other capital plans you know the, re the estimated revenue it can 
add to the estimated revenue, which can bring down the overall tax effort. So it, it will have an impact. Subsequently. At some even, point. Even in, Subsequently. Yeah, in the year that it's going to be sold. So if, if one of, I don't know, what's on for 2020. And that's also providing nothing happens to said piece of equipment being traded in, or there's not a new piece of equipment that we must have next year. That may right. Exactly. That, that can happen yeah, anyway. This, this is what we know now. This is what we got. This is what we know. So when I uh, when I did my uh, messing around, which you will see with a the, a bottom line for 2020 of like 200 and almost 14 thousand dollars. That's the, that was the first my first iteration of messing around. Do you, do you yep. see that? I do. Okay, so, so what I did was just trying to even out the payments across the year, so in some cases extending some things. Let me just clarify. Blue is, like the color sheet is what department heads have proposed. And then there are two black and white oh. sheets. Oh, okay. So, thank you. thank you. And if you don't have 12 of them, there's more in the Oh, I see. You did change it from 233 to 213. Okay. I'm and and okay. look at the first two, three, three or four years. So it's, you know, they're, um, they're a little more even than if you look at the, how it came out just in the department years. Now, it, it jumps up afterwards, but I don't worry so much about the, too much about those things years. Again. Things happen. That's you so can far out, things too. Again. So, I mean, it's not, it, it's, it's interesting to know, and I don't want to not take, uh, side of them, but you know, it's, it's for me. It's important to try to keep those the next two or three, three or four years as even as possible. So, so that's. So what were the? That's really what we're dealing with right now. We're talking about the immediate future, and that makes sense. Right. Yeah. What were the major Thank shifts you. that got it done? Uh, I probably extended. Uh, yeah, twenty thousand dollars. Some vehicles. A good a vehicle. Booking, digital booking system is no longer a... Oh, there you go. Instead of 20, you now showing 10. Because I may have moved it out of here. Yeah. And that was priority, like, number two on his list, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you wrote that down. Yes, but if you recall... I think you... So, just... Well, to actually, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, if we put ten thousand in twenty twenty, it's all paid up because there's ten thousand in the CIP. So we could put it to twenty twenty one, which is right. The fire department. So you will, you you shuffled around some because we had a balance of thirteen five seventy eight. On my, I um, yes, un I unallocated, right? Yes. So I'm assuming you took ten of it. I took from I took things. In, what was that? It sounded like a dog. Yeah. I dragged my foot. I moved things around so that yep. we could get that bottom line. Yeah, yep, no, I, and, I like it. And, and then the other... Um, and you did the same thing within fire? You, just, you, you say that you moved it to a different year, Susan? Susan. Suzanne, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. Caroline. What? <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> um, like the, the, what was that, Joe? The, yeah, my brother. The extrication, the extrication equipment. Which was a 2020 purchase of thirty thousand. It's a zero dollar amount here, and I see you still have it over. It's, it in, is, the, it's in the reserve fund, way over. But that's so you moved it from somewhere else. That had no, no, that no, no, that oh. is a 20. So if you look at it, it's highlighted. That is still scheduled for 2020. Yep. It's just I moved uh, money. It, it's going to come from. It's already paid for from the CIP. Okay, that's because it said there's a thirty yes. in the fund right here. You're going to use that money. Exactly. Okay, so it's yeah. because like on this one, it says 30 there, plus you still have 30 in the fund, but I know it's on the new one. We no longer have any in the fund. We're going to spend that for the, okay. Yeah. That, that, that was good clarification. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and the forestry vehicle, I don't know what it was originally, but, you know, uh, there's, there's now 45800 in the reserve fund for leaving an out, a needed outlay of 9200 and that's where it helps us in 2020 because it's, yep. it's already set aside. Yeah. Excuse me. The articulating loader had fifty thousand uh, in it, so um, I don't. I don't think that's much of a change from one to the other. I think 
No, that's the same so, in those two. The one change is that he the price went up a little bit, so there was we had to add a little bit of dollars. Now, what's not funded, and I think I said this in my notes, is it's not fully funded if you look at this during the year that it's supposed to happen or whatever. I think it's the fire station, is that not the fire station, the fire engine. Um, the fire engine. The fire engine. If you look at number 10 on the list, right? The 600,000? Or the 600,000. So if you look at. Um, yeah, it's number. It's, number, number 10. It's, it's, it's eight, eight or 10. rows. It's eight. Okay. So yeah, there's it's the six hundred. It's the first six hundred thousand dollars scheduled for twenty twenty eight. You pushed it. I, I did push it, and it is lacking four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. If you look at future years, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so so is it is it a good idea to have it? Yeah, I mean that's what we're doing this for. But you know these are. I feel that we're still catching up. Yeah. With. We don't have enough years. We don't have enough um, years, and a huge ticket item. Yes, yeah, so it's so, just astronomical. And so, you know, the town may just, at that point, I think I said in the notes that, you know, we'll be done with the transfer station piece of the bond. You know, there'll be three or four years left on the, the last fire engine purchase bond. And so, so 2028 seems fits, sort of fits, but it, to get to, to try to do a bond for the remainder of it. But, I mean, that's for the, you know. Again, I'm just noodling and, and yeah. giving some some ideas. But over a ten-year plan, you'd hope you'd have some soft years where there's not such that you can catch up on it. But with rising cost of things, and of course we're trying to predict the future here too. Um, I, well, you know, I, you know I, I think I think to even predict what we're going to be spending for three or four years is probably a little. Well, we've managed though. I mean, we have managed to sort of try to keep within more or less. Yeah, but fallen for enough years, and it, 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 that was, we should have done this a long time ago, I think. Well, we should have. I mean, the, the whole point, if we have a $600,000 fire truck replacement, we, we should have started funding it 20 years, 20 yeah, years before, the, the, day before, the, the, year, before engine, the year the day we have to replace it. Right, yeah. And so we're nowhere near that. And then we have, so we have two, there are two on the list. And then while there were for, for different dates, I mean, you know, we, we have to be... But I would like to make sure that, you know, we're getting every bit of usefulness and life out of these vehicles. And I, you know, when, when I think about trading a vehicle in, you know, you being the first buyer, you're taking that huge depreciation hit. So that huge loss of value that you had to pay for, the next guy doesn't. You'd, you'd like to get years of use out of that to really soft, to, to really make it the best deal for the market. So, I, you know, I kind of have some concerns about, well, we'll just trade this vehicle. And I'm not picking on anyone in particular, but, you know, it just seems that every year there's, we can anticipate next year there'll be another big piece of equipment that sort of come along. Well, it's, you, you trying to avoid it. The trying plan, to avoid the plan should, should be outlining it. You know, I was, you know, the, it's, um, you know, there's still some surprises like the extrication equipment. But hopefully departments are getting better about allegiance to this plan. Giving us heads up. Yes. The loader was a this year thing though, wasn't it? it was Every year we get this year things since we started I mean, whether it's bobcats or, yeah. or back holes, ex, you know. So we're always going to be, so. Well, we have to get up and running and it's new. We're also going to be like behind the eight ball as much as department heads keep coming with, you know, this is the new thing that I need next year. Right, but we, we got to keep an eye on that big stuff you're going to need 10 years from now. And I'm talking like buildings. I'm talking like police stations and, and schools or, you know, town halls and things like that. That um, You'd hope for a few soft years that you can really sort of well, what is plan the on that. Where so are there things on this that you want to... Well, that would be... The, the thing... I, I still have concerns about that articulating loader, and I, I, I don't try to hide that, and, it's, it, and I don't know, I'm not saying that I know everything, but to just say, well, you're going to two other pieces of equipment, you know, and, and I mean, there's operators out there that with a, with a bobcat can perform a tracheotomy. I mean, the example being, there's just operators out there that can really, you give an operator a back hole, there's a lot he can do. And so, that's just my, that's my viewpoint, you know, to have something that hit us, we've got to have this, but... I didn't know about last year, but we got to have it this year. It seems like that was something so critical. You'd have known, and maybe we wouldn't have. We would have bought something different for the Bobcat, attachment-wise, or something like that. Well, it's a new highway department. I mean, I understand that. Yeah. Reasonably I think new. that's 
probably the biggest driver. Yeah. Well, even with the school, I think the school is in the past five or ten years has really gotten on target and, and is working within this and developing the building and, and you know moving forward. And I think we got that now with the town. And that's all happened department. within four years, though. It, which is yeah, yeah that's, less than five, and that's good. That's good, and I think that maybe we'll get we'll, we'll, we we'll probably have, get there. You, a, and that's not negative. I'm so, not saying. But, but we still have big ticket items that we're that we're just delaying, delaying, and delaying. We're starting to save the better for them. But I think the po the point is, if we have someone who says, you know, articulating loader is going to make our life easier. Mm -hmm. You know, we were stuck. You know, we're using the equipment we came in. We're using it. We're using it well. All the attachments can go on the new articulating you know articulating loader. Um, so we don't have to worry about buying new attachments for it, um, and then there are some ways we see that we can save some money by trading in a couple of pieces of equipment. I mean, those are things that have to play out to see if they really work. But I mean, that there, you know, we could ask ourselves: Do we want to? Uh, was it? There was nothing critical about that. 2020, I don't think there's no piece of Well, I mean, I'm no expert, no. but if I'm an he expert in... He wanted it. You know, and I, the example of being is now I'm seeing... The thing I'm seeing with the uh, school... Oh, I'm sorry. They, they, I haven't finished my point. They were first, Kevin. No, no. Okay. He, he okay. wanted the articulated loader last year, and because the truck became a higher priority, he moved to that. Is it two years that he has been... He's been it saying it since he okay. came. Um, the articulating loader? Yes. Yeah. He's been calling, before he was calling it a sidewalk plow or something like mm -hmm. that, but it's essentially the same piece of equipment yeah. about which parts you put on it. I think we need to decide, is this important to have the sidewalks done? Mm -hmm. um, what have we been doing until now? Um, we're sort of what's wrong with the way we're doing things. I, I don't, um, there was one thing that, that he said last time that really stuck with me that, that was swinging me to go along with it. And it escapes me what that thing was, but um, I was I was more swayed because I was I, my eyebrows are sufficiently raised with spending this much money on a thing that we didn't know we needed. Um, there's there's no reason why we can't recommend to the board that we wait another year. Mm -hmm. But it, and I'm not against that. It, and that way, yeah. we don't we're not spending the money, and we're deferring again. So there's another opportunity to have a discussion about the value of the board. I just think with all of the big things that are coming, and my point with the school is now I see them. We get new steps. We get a new floor. I mean, we're really big picturing things. You know, parking and cupola, um, and with not knowing where the town is, with administration, police force. Um, Still, some big ticket items, and like I said, I don't know. I don't know highway. I don't know. That's not my business. I don't know that. I'm just voicing my concern that. Um, have you really, you know, have you looked at every avenue with what we currently have? For it, you know, is, is this really that big a hole that we're missing? In because we we've been doing. I understand one's too wide, one's too narrow. Um, I think I do. I mean, it makes the math adds up. They're both too wide. And and I think all the sidewalks should be maintained. Why they they tear up. And, and I've seen them get torn up, and I've seen, you know, the outside contractors don't do the best job. You know, they're not really our town, you know. Um, but as far as, you know, this year again, um, you know, it has enough, if it's been mentioned in several years, I haven't, I haven't heard about it that many years on, on CIP. It couldn't have been too big a topic of conversation last year. In the office, I think last year was the first year he wanted it in CIP, okay, yeah, and he so went too. to the board with it to the point that he wanted the board to, like, do a rent-to-own kind of thing. Right. To spread but out. But not at CIP meeting. Well, he, he made it to CIP, but yeah. um, if CIP wasn't, it was a way that, since CIP wasn't going to be voted on until March when the Warren articles get voted on, he wanted the board to consider renting the piece of, like, like kind of like the, the Lisa Cruiser. You make three payments and you pay a dollar and it's yours. But it would happen over a more, um, a shorter time frame. But to start paying for it in the fall so that they could have used it that fall before, before the election. We did, as an alternative, uh, buy a plow that goes on the backhoe. Um, it goes on the bobcat. This goes on the bobcat, okay. I never actually said I know we, I know we, I we're so. not a huge city, but it's not like we just have a plow truck. I mean, we have some equipment. I 
don't know how much, and I don't know what's needed, and I don't know, you know, but we're not a big town. And, and you know, and I know we don't have to vote on this, but my feelings are, you know, if this is something that I just heard about at a CIP meeting, and I was on last year's, I believe, I think I've been on every year. It, I don't think it was called an articulated loader last year. I think but it was uh, talk, like, the it was He was talking about, about our still on the board. He was talking about a, 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 a small, uh, some way to be able to, to do this. Yeah, and I may have heard side work. Sidewalks, yeah. That's his primary uh, However, use just, you know, I think it's fair to say that just because a department head is really hot on a particular item doesn't mean that, you know, they could be asking for five years in a row. I mean, if if, the, if we, and then the board, and then and or the table, however along the line it gets stopped, it just gets, gets stopped. If you contrast that with the uh, <laughs> fire, fire department's um, extrication equipment, yes. we need that. Yeah, I can't, even, I can't even say boo to that, right? You know, fingerprinting things, I, I mean, you know, life safety and all that. It, I understand clean sidewalks is life safety too, but, you know, I mean, first responders, whatever you need, I mean, really, you know, these guys are laying their well, life up for you, you know? You know, I, I do have to run the numbers because they tell us things, and, and if you look at the subtotals, it is illustrative if you compare the fire department with every other department. I mean, look at the bottom line of the fire department of the gross capital cost. And it's, it's like almost 1.8 million. And that's yeah. two, that's look, two look at every, yeah. Yeah, Look at the highway. Look at the transfer station. Uh -huh. I mean, don't look at the government general. No, you can't. They're being messed up now by something we're not even sure about. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's it's true. I just looked at that and said, wow, fire but department's that's really expensive. Now, the fire because, because, because of the nature of it. Because of the nature of it. But the place, the, 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 there's a lot of expense on the salaries. Right. I understand. I understand it's because of the nature. I'm not, I'm not saying we shouldn't spend it. I didn't, didn't mean that. I'm just saying, wow, look, it's look at how work. expensive it is to, because of all of the equipment that's required. That's all. It was just an observation. But that's I don't think we, I, 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 as a taxpayer, I would, I have no issues with anything like that as far as, I don't, I, I know that's exorbitantly large because of the cost of vehicles and so Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a big expense. I'm not saying it's not necessary. I'm not saying anything. Wow, this is this is the biggest this is the biggest department. Well, when it's you know five times the police force no amount for equipment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, the police have you know, bigger salaries in the operating. Budget. Yeah, this is this is this, 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 this is not what it costs to run each oh, department. Oh, clearly, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is over and above running each department. Right. It's exactly. replacing it's not the operating. Budget. Essentially, still, it's it's yeah. you know it just shows the different the equipment that's necessary. Mm -hmm. So all right. So is there any other like question? Uh, that we, I don't know that we'll be able to resolve it, but at least the board will know that there's a there's a question about that. I just want to make a comment, which is that I really appreciate the effort to massage the bottom line contributions because that is really important. Um, moving the fire truck out two years may not be possible, and we should acknowledge that because when he came here, I think he was already pushing it out beyond his comfort zone. So, you know, that doesn't mean we can't put it there for now, but I, I don't think, we have to, I think, acknowledge that sometimes things break before. I, I'm happy, and I'm happy we can put it back, because you know what, it's not going to change the overall comment that the town may likely need to take out a bond in order to... Right. Right. And we, so, and we don't have so to we could, We're so still not going to be ready for it, either way. Either way, so let me put it back. I'll put it back, even, whatever we decide, I'll put it back to the... 2026, even if we make some other. And, and it will be good to have the um, the years the fire the, the year of the fire truck that we're replacing yeah, on here, so we be. know. I mean, we know they have a 20 year lifespan generally. Yeah. And was, so it'd be nice to have those on there just so yeah. we have an idea of where we I are. I agree. We started doing with so, highway. Yeah, which which I think is very helpful. Yes. To see. We don't, I, it's I, not I, all there. It's not there. It's not there on police cruisers. It's not there on, on anything. So. Well, the police cruisers are only. They're all, it's oh, that's standard, right. there, 33, whatever it is. Yeah, that's true. That's down to a... Yeah. It's down to a canal grid, practically. Mm -hmm. So, Carol, I, I mean, I, I mean that's point well made. I've forgotten that little conversation. And I did add the command vehicle, even though we're not sure when, and the right. tank truck, which sort of was... Oh, by the way, we are going to need the tank truck. And, <laughs> yep. So, that's on there. 2029. Yeah, that one is on 10 there. years. Yeah. Wow. Good job. Thank you. So... But so so the here's the but here's the other thought process, the other thing that I thought of, and you know, looking at a big picture sort of thing, and that is that 
uh, you know, there's money allocated in the CIP that's been on spend, you know, for this police station. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever it was, if you look at the color sheet, it's uh, 140. Yeah. Okay. So, so I was, you know, the board, and even though it's on the plan and I don't, at, at, at this 2.1 million, and the board has, as far as I know, has made no decision to go ahead or not go ahead. And so, if the board goes ahead, let's say the board goes ahead with this to try to float a bond, then those annual amounts that are in there, you know, can be used for like the interest payments and stuff. They can at least help. They probably wouldn't be the whole thing. But the 144,000, you know, you, I'm, I'm having a hard time articulating this. Grab that and use that to, to bring down those to buy these, down first, some of these. these first three, two, yeah, three years. No, I, right? And that's what my, that's the biggest thing that my newly did. Take that 144,000, whatever it was, and use it to, to bring down the amounts on those four or three. And it, it keeps the annual stuff in the police station. Although. So, so you're right. In the big scheme of things, if we finance 2.1 million or 2 million, right. the payments are it's negligible. Right. But um, in the meantime, it could really be helpful. Right. So because of whatever this difference is from 180 to, to 214, it's 34,000. What's the impact of the tax rate? Well, it's going to depend on the operating budget. I mean, I'm no, trying sure. to get the 10-year projections in, but I, there, are some, there are some issues I can't, I can't figure them out. So, so what I did was I put, you know, I bought, I, I put some of that money, and I looked at the right thing. No, it would be, uh, no, it would be the one where the bottom line is 176895 you so can find that one. Find that the bottom one. line for what? Oh yeah, for, for 2020. For 2020. Okay. So noodle number two. Yeah. Yes. So noodle, so noodle number two is why I, I took nice. that 144,000 and I, mm -hmm. I said, okay, we can, we can do the generators in 2022 with that. We can do, we can buy down, we can put almost 70,000 in the town hall compressors. And so I used it mostly for town hall stuff. Because I figured that was at least in the spirit of things. So that's what that that doing is. And that brings us down to, you know, the next three or you know, about 175,000 for the next two years, about you know, 200,000 for the following two, and then the other years. Well, I mean, looking at the overall plan, I certainly would have a hard time of uh, being at all confident recommending that we do 2.1 million for police or town administration bill because I'm not confident that those numbers are anywhere near but anywhere near accurate. I, I have no idea. I think that's a board that is a but board. that's a board. That, I'm not sure it should be. But I'm just saying that I wouldn't have any confidence recommending it. I mean yes it's ultimately a board decision but I mean as a as, as a member of this committee I wouldn't say oh yeah well, I let's go ahead and recommend that. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just saying that. Your thoughts saying that you want to be very sound on that price and not have, be yeah. anticipating overruns? Not overruns. We don't have we don't have we don't have any contracts or anything. No one has come. We've had we've had. Yeah, you'd want to know that that built the building to that that yeah, need. that you want to be want confident. To that that's, that's, that's your concern. What, well, yeah, I'd like to be a little. Bit, it's a lot of money to um, you know. It's not like yeah, we know we're going to get a fire truck for for six hundred thousand dollars or or a hundred or or, or, or a million dollars. We don't it's it's not that we know that that's the cost of that. We don't know what the cost of this police station is not really and buildings are very, very, very expensive, I'm sure there's to be a police station which has all kinds of code yeah. we, uh, you know, so, and I know some work has been done, but I think that we would need to know more. Uh, I would so here's how I have managed that. I've like put it out of my head. I figured uh, it got added to the, to the CIP with that two point whatever amount, mm -hmm. but it's it's not the money's not coming out of the CIP. That's it's it's a it, if it happens, it's going to be a bond. It has to. Mm -hmm. It's a bond. So which doesn't mean it, it shouldn't be part of the plan. But there's so many. Un, it, it's not even. I mean, you're absolutely right. We, it, 
that's why I don't think we're recommending that. I don't think that's that's why they're okay. questioning. I don't think and that's, that's, part and that's of it. well. That's why you did a, a noodling with without yeah without because, that in here. And so I guess in, in that you know is is there a step where some of that money that that was slated for that is being used to to move us forward on that if need be to do some other I don't know what, what the next step is. But. The money that was in the plan had nothing to do with what happened over the last couple of years. I mean, they, they followed some, some pie-in-the-sky idea that we could do something for $400,000 or $500,000 or something, which is just like really mm -hmm. silly. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I think there are going to be some meetings, you know, that are working on this. And so, you know, we have to kind of operate with that ambiguity. And my own, my own thought process, my own feeling is that, you know, it's not space so much anymore. It's, it's a, if you have a really, if, if all of the equipment is in their cars, mm -hmm. you know, if, they, if, you, if you give them all the stuff they need to be really mobile and safe and this and that, I mean, you can use money, you know, to beef up spaces downstairs. And, and so we can, that money that's been in there and that is going to be in there can maybe use for maintenance in this building. I think that's a conversation it, for the exactly. committee and a consultant exactly. firm and the board. Exactly. It's not, that's what, but that, you can see why I don't, it's, so what I left in my noodling was what we had originally for those things. Because there's no just keep is plugging it, away. Two point one is it? I, who knows? And nobody has said. The board hasn't committed to it, so I, I just sort of. It's an interesting okay. number: two million one hundred thirty thousand nine hundred ninety-two dollars. That's right. a very <laughs> specific number. On, on the original one? Uh, no, on, on yeah, on, on the amount that's it doesn't the, it doesn't change. Well, on the. Uh, on your, on your, yeah, that's the, that's the original one. Yeah, but not 9 dollars <laughs> Well, I don't know where that's from, but if you can see, really, I mean, if you look at future years, I mean, it, it's, it's, you're still going to... Yeah, it's still a drop on the bucket. Yeah, and if you, if you do it in 2021, all of those, you know, the, the future year money, that the, the money in the plan isn't, isn't going to be there when you're doing the bond, right. so... Does anyone know how many years we've been um, saving to get to 140? The yeah. capital. So the Warren article for this fund was passed in 2013. Okay. So. I found the enabling legislation. Yeah. And it just says to fund whatever's in the plan. Yeah, so I haven't clarified with DRA, but I think that means we yeah. can do whatever's in the plan. It was brand spanking new when I got on the board in 2013, and there was, I think it was a buck in it. So it got set up with a dollar. Yes. And so, you know, we've been building it. And that, that so, you know, it, and it takes a while before everybody kind of comes on board with, you know, this is real, this is really how we're going to manage big projects. Right. You know, so this is only five years of funding and, and, and... Just about, yeah. And revisiting. Yeah. And so that's not bad for that. Yeah. And it's you know, and it's been a cultural learning curve for department mm -hmm. heads who are still finding equipment mm -hmm. that they exactly. haven't thought to add and exactly. everything. Yeah. So I think for, given that it's been five years, we're in pretty good shape. But I've we should be getting in better shape good. over time. I mean, I, I, I still think we're, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, there's a lot of pent up stuff, you know. Yeah, we're still playing catch up. Yeah. Yes. And, I, and I don't know what what other CIP committees have done, but it seems to me once once we hand it off to I mean the board is going to do what it's going to do, right? right? So so we can just say, look, here's 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 the way it was, here's one idea, and here's a third idea. Yep. Um, unless unless you think you the committee think that we ought to we ought to be in agreement and say, we think this is the best way to go. And I'm We're the ones I heard front row from each of the department heads, you know, which, you know, the, the, the select board won't, but, um, no, and I think, like, your biggest thing, getting back to that building, you know, we're not targeting a year on it. We're still plugging, depositing every year, like we, like we began this plan five years ago. Um, I don't think we all need to agree on it. I think that, you know. 
So, I don't remember when the building got added to this. It was not one of the first things to be put on it, this. Yeah, it was it pretty much in the beginning. It was, it was not the two point. No, not that. Million, it was but, like the 400 or 5 million. Right. 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 I can, if you give me a minute, I can probably. So, I, I missed this the first time around. Was you, you substituted a line with 426,000 for. Well, it just, all, what I did was I took what had been in the plan for each of the allotments across the 10 years, and that was, oh, okay. that, that, that's that's what I did. Why It does vacillate, yep. you know, it just, it has across the years. I think just, again, just to try to flatten things out, maybe, I don't know. So I've got a... Um, I guess, you know, I'm not sure that $426,000 makes any sense to have there. I think it's important to have money for maintenance and for replacing systems, but without knowing, you know, so, so it is a placeholder of sorts. Does it represent the figure of, you know, our AC compressors plus boiler plus, you know, whatever might need maintenance every 10 years or so if we were to stay in this building in perpetuity? And I don't know, but right now that looks like a random number. What, what and I know where you got it, and I got the four twenty six, the four hundred twenty six thousand dollars. If you could look at that as, as a, you know, if if the board made a decision to stay in this building, and you could look at that as, ma you know, maintenance, funding maintenance for this building. Well, right, right. but me, so so this is. So, well, placing well, capital items, make capital items, but then maintenance, I think, ought to, as maintenance, be put in operating. No, I, well, I'm a mistake. You know, maintenance I mean? like a roof. Well, okay. okay. Maintenance okay. like a roof, maintenance like the generators, maintenance right. You know, right. that kind of And that's what I'm saying is that, like, I would be, and, and I don't know that we even know what we need to know to, to do this, but to, you know, we've started to break it out. It's got the generator there, it's got the roof there. Um, it's got the boiler there, which is in its limbo status, but to articulate the individual items that that number represents, because because once you have, since you have some of those things already represented, the four hundred twenty-six thousand dollars doesn't make sense. Yet I don't know what it would be. But you it's know, it's almost like a renovation. Well, it, that's exactly what minor it is. reservation, the renovation number. I just think that, um, you know, if it's maintenance, it goes in? In. Sorry. What, Carolyn? If, if it's maintenance, it, it goes in, in operating. And if it's systems, we should know what the systems are and list them. And yet, right. we don't have enough information exactly. to do a good job with that. Exactly. And so this just sort of takes what the allotment had been for RPD, you know, before the, before the two point whatever million, and just says, we don't, again, we don't know. We don't know what this is going to cost. We don't know what that's going to cost. We don't know what this is going to cost. We could take it out completely. But we don't have a department head that really represents this to us, so that's, that's kind of the catch Right. Too. So we said right. we were going to work on it over the coming yeah. years. So you could, how would you want to, how, how do you want to deal with it? What would you like I to guess, see? I guess for Is there a word maintenance? We can yes, that's making yeah. it crazy. Okay. okay. Take so. it out. It's not meant to be maintenance. Uh, what is it? Uh, um, systems systems upgrades, maybe. Yes, there you go. System on there we go. Because they're big, there's stuff that would be on this, we just don't know what they are. Right? Yes, but you know. Okay, system upgrades. But I think it's just good for the back of the head that, you know, that number is probably, well, there's for sure ways to spend that amount of money. Since you've got a lot of the systems otherwise broken out mm -hmm. in that area, I think that number is bigger than it needs to be. Unless you're doing something like a renovation. Yeah. So, so we may, like, as we, as we get clarity there over the upcoming year, and we can get more specific with what goes in that area, then that number can get, come down, get split up, get redefined, and then, you know, I mean, that's part of what this is all about, is figuring stuff out. But I just, I, I just think that there will be money there that can be otherwise allocated once we find that clarity, is all I'm trying do to you, say. 
do you want to reduce it? Again, I, it, it, it was sort of just a I, you know, just a I know, and I get where you're coming from with, but, yeah. and, but I'm, ha I'm more than happy to, to, to say, look, let's, um, it's just that we know that there's stuff we don't know that, you know, right. and, then, and, and then that's why, huge. yeah, so I hate to ignore it, ignore it, but yeah. you know, we could just make it a, a you know, flat 35,000 all the way across. Or thirty-five for five years and forty for the other years, you know. Or unless you think even that's too high. I, I think what you're saying is so. Without a specific earmark, what are we saving for? Well, that we except that we're saving for the unknown. And one right. thing we do know about this building is that there are unknowns and they're likely to be expensive. Um, so we ought to have a number there yep. until a decision is made about this building. And then we can get more specific or we can delete it all together if, we're gonna, if the board and the people are going to make a different decision. I mean, I didn't want to not have something there only because, you know, even though... You know, we got something new from the fire department and this and that. I mean, we pretty much don't have somebody who's telling us these things. We don't have anybody for this right. building. Mm -hmm. And so I was uncomfortable to just say, you know, remove it entirely. But that doesn't mean, uh, you know, you know it, it, if it makes sense to reduce it, that would help. It would clearly help. But the biggest unknown is what the future is going to hold for this building and the new town building. Well, right. So it's That's partly about what are the systems and how much do they cost, right. but it's also about what's the future of this building. Right. But I think right. that's one of the things that people who were go had gone to these meetings were saying is we don't, even, no one is not, no one is telling us what it would cost. Right. It's a chicken and egg to make right. So we don't have so a the, spokesperson. Right. In, in the meantime, you know, if the town and the board can chip away at the things it does know about, like the compressors and the generators and whatever else, then. So, so I mean, your point about we're well, for the unknown. So, so I guess we can leave it. I just, I just want to, I just want to sort of clarify. Or, or, do, or do we level it out at thirty-five thousand a year, or level it out at forty thousand a year, rather than Unless, rather than how to have it go up and up and up for to, to try to get a certain. Well, because level. I think, well, I think part of the point is that whatever the decision is about. All the systems in this building are almost all old and in need of upgrades. So no matter what number we put in mm -hmm. there, we're going to be addressing whatever it is yes. sooner than that, or we're going to be abandoning the building. And it's either you know. So either way, you know, what's the role of that line in the plan? Well, if they have money to spend, so like so. Need it. But yet we do like need it there because you know mm -hmm. we may stay here and we may be addressing right. these things. But even at that, to that end, it's, it's kind of like the fire truck where whatever it's going to be, it's going to be not enough money when, when the time comes. I whatever you plan. I don't know. Planning. I mean, you know. I mean, we don't know. I'm don't know. You know. I mean, the roof is there. The compressors are there. The generator's there. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, in, in a way, it, it, it's, the, no, it's the, the things you know and are there. And, they can, and as you know more things, they can be added there. Yeah. And then there's always going to be the unknown. And it's, and that's the reserve. In, in a way, it's like the school's um, build, building fund. I mean, we're putting things in there. We, we know we're going to have some big ticket items, but it's also there for the unknown. Because if the unknown happens before a big ticket item, and all buildings have unknowns. Yeah. Sure. But uh, other, oh, go ahead. Well, uh, well. So clearly, you you'd like to have captured things so that you're planning for them. It is nonetheless, though, a truism about this building is that there is nobody who's been capturing them for us. Now, we think we've got, because they've fallen in the town over the last few years, press of the generator, the roof, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, we've helped to fix the water around the thing. So, uh, clearly there are other things that could come to light. So, I mean, I, I think it's... You know, as as the town works in figuring out what it is that needs to be upgraded, then then those numbers can can, stick, can you know the system upgrades line can just say whatever it is the whatever it is it's going to be. 
And we can but as far as the it. town, as far as the CIP plan, I think it's safe to have both of the majors, all the major systems that we know we need to spend money on. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've got to have the line there for the big building if that ever happens. Um, if that doesn't happen, then beyond all the systems upgrade, there's also the building itself, the renovation costs. Mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I think as far as a CIP standpoint, I think this is probably the better way to do it. Which way? The way you have it here. Oh. You're marking these big... Well, Expensive systems, yeah. I mean, but so also have a line for the building, which is an unknown with an unknown target here. But still put away like we so have that, it. So that's sort of that's sort of the original. Thing. That's what she's been. Yeah, what we have here, still still putting away for this building whenever it happens. You're marking all the big expenses that are. It's a matter of when, not if. Um, compressors get reduced to sixty thousand. I thought. I thought the final analysis we weren't sure. Oh, okay. That's because okay. It, it was the equipment, but then maybe there, were the, there was the vents or the this or the that. Oh, no. So that's what I recall. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Do you remember that? I do remember that. I like the idea of having a facility on the capital, you know, on the plan with a dollar amount, however random, it's large enough to think that it might cover something of a building that we can revise as we get more clarity on that. Um, and the idea of putting money away from it for it so that if, if, if it doesn't happen in the, you know, in more immediate future, that it can still happen someday and have some money put aside for it if that's what the people want. Because it's always going to be out there as a potential. So you haven't changed anything f except what the, the amount we're saving for it, the, the, the year to year. Um... I, 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 what I did for the, for the second noodling, I took the amount that was in the CIP, yep. already allocated for right. that. And, and we'll and, peanut butter yeah. that around. But I didn't change the annual the outlay. Annual. So Which I we could look at and... I think we might be splitting hairs a little bit because mm. we're still mm. saving for something. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, you know, it goes out 10 years. We can look at it every year. And I don't know why there isn't money in 2029, actually, now that I'm, I think I just forgot to figure out. I will make that note. Okay. I can make that change if people want to want to see this one. Do you see what I mean? So you're yeah. like, we're, right now we're looking at the noodle number two, right? Yes, that's the line. Yeah. 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 So I think it's okay to leave it like noodle two. And, but I will add to 2029. Mm -hmm. And I'll move this fire station back to 2026. The engine, yes. yes. Thank you. Fire, did I say engine. fire station? It did. Yes, yeah. fire engine. Which is another. Yeah, That's engine. another thing that we have to say. Yeah. Mm. So what, what are you thinking? What is the collective wisdom of this group? What would we like to present to the board? If we take the fire engine back to 2026, we'll then add some, you have two, two years, uh, 2022 and 2023, where no money's being put away for it. It starts in 2021, and yeah. then, so we'll, we'll um, with the two years that are out, would you just slide everything back over to? No, no, I no. think just, you know, whatever didn't get covered would be put under future years. I would still like to see more money put on that, even though... I, you know, point taken that we'll mm. have to bond for it, I think mm. it's still worth trying to get ahead of it a little bit. What years would you like to see it in? Because if you stick it where there isn't any, it's just going to... I know. It's going to, 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 to balloon those. <clears throat> and the ballooning starts in 2024 anyway. It, 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 yeah, it jumps by 40,000 now. But, you know, and then it comes says, back down. So what's happening in 2024? Oh, okay. I'm just... 
So what if you think about this the other way? You know, rather than looking at the pay, rather than, you know, these are the projects and their costs and how they're split over time and this is what it turns out to be for a payment, what if we started with, this is what we think is a reasonable payment and then getting to where we want a payments to be and then see how we can allocate that money. When payments you mean, what do you mean? This, this bottom line, how much money we're going to put in this fund every year? No. Well, that's kind of where, um, it, it's a little bit of what I did. I mean, when, because when, I, when I saw what, the, what it looked like, I said, too much money. Uh, I, it's too much money. My first note laying, I said, oh, it's still, it's still a lot of money. And so I really wanted to get it down to below 200000 Okay, so so have got... So, I, so that's why new number two has like 176,000, and it does jump up. But. But, but, but as we look at this, going under 200,000 does not seem reasonable when we look at everything that's Well, and here. that's what I would... And so as if we say it's always going to be 225 or whatever, or 200 even, and just... Well, or, or start with something higher and, and get to, you know, just start with something higher and, and inch up over time a little faster. You've got $3.5 million on this sheet. So if you really want to ever get fully funded... Yeah, but you're including the building there, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm including, I'm looking at the second well, noodle, so... All right, that doesn't matter the building. Right, and it's got... It's well, what do you mean it has three hundred million? It's, um, it's, it's the it's total five. funding. The total funding on the on the bottom of the it is three point five million dollars on the bottom right of the. Yeah, so thing. that's like you know three hundred fifty thousand a year. But but so why are we yeah. fooling ourselves like pretending yeah. that one hundred and seventy six thousand yeah. dollars is really going to get us where we need to go? So it's yeah. a lot of money. I I grant you that, but yeah. maybe we need to be getting there sooner, I, faster. I, I, and and it's almost easier for everyone to understand that, in in essence. But then next year, but next year when a big ticket item comes along, it's going to mess the whole thing. you adjust, and it's going to be three hundred and two. So I don't know, two thousand. So, so it's an interesting. Uh, so I mean, uh, I'm not, I'm not. I know what you're saying, and I don't disagree. But there's the practicality of the tax rate. Oh, I understand. There's the practicality of the tax rate, and this year, unless something happens that I'm not aware of. Okay. So devil's advocate here. Yep. So if we're going to play tax rate and we're going to, you know, put 176 in, and we're not going to fully fund things because fully funding things in theory would be 350 thousand dollars. Well, what about the fire engines, which we're thinking they may need to be? Bought. Well, okay. So I guess what I'm saying is, you know, you, you can pay me this way or pay me that way. You can bond it, you know, and and, and put it on the tax rate that way, or you can put away for it now. Or you can take some of it out of CIP because you put away for it and then ask the taxpayers for the balance. But either way, it's going to hit the tax rate when you need to do well, it. Well, well, it is, except, except the, the advantage of, of bonding is that it does keep the tax rate a for little that bit one steady. Item. Sure. Well, well, for any of it, whatever you decide to bond, I mean, the tax rate's going to have to cover it, but, I mean, but, but it also keeps it, there are no spikes. It, 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 it levels out the spikes, the ups and the downs. So right. by bonding. And that, and I think that that's well but but so does this, putting three hundred and fifty thousand dollars away. I mean theoretically if the saying. fire engine happened at the right time. Yeah, yeah. You know, the net effect is the same and you're yeah. not paying interest. But, but yeah. the other thing though, Caroline, though, is that you have the, the, the most specificity in the across the next short number of years. Yes. For example, we just got rid of the Quonset huts, which was thirty thousand. I just think I mean things happens so, exchange. Some of the things require more study. And so to say that it's three point something million is an approximation that yes. is not entirely real because it's a ten year plan. Yeah. I grant you that. So but having said that, I mean I do agree if you look at it you say well we're not funding this enough. And you could be right. And that's a, sort of a board level decision. Uh, but yeah. I mean because even if you if you just decided we're gonna get to two fifty Next year, and, and and you know, climb up from there, you know, like just Bonne get chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling broke. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's it's that or, or bonding, and we may still be bonding because we're behind the eight ball because this is a new plan. 
but I just mean that, you know, however you do these things, if you're going to do them according to this plan, then you're going to hit the tax rate either in a bond with interest or paid partially with CIP and the rest to come from the tax base. It's going to come from somewhere. So, so, it does. so underfunding it is kind of like masking the problem. I'm not sure that we're underfunding it, though. I mean, I kind of, except for the fire engines, which, which we are. And, right. and otherwise, what we're saying is we think this is the next three or four years we can manage it this way. And then next year you'll see whether we were right. And then you look at the next, you know, three or four years. And, I mean, this is still a jump. A hundred and, you know, 180,000. Oh, I know. It's still a jump, and then it goes to 200. And, uh, yeah, it's, again, it's, I'm, it's a board decision. It's, I know, it is it, a board it's decision. A board decision. It's just a lot of money put, to put away, and then you tell the taxpayers that, yes, we've had this plan for 10 years, and we have, you know, $20,000 to buy a $600,000 fire truck, you know. They that, can see this. I mean, this is... Oh, I know. It's just, it's what the plan's for. So we should put more, you know, put more money away. You know you're going to spend the money, so is that not what the plan is for, is to put money away for the things that you know you're going to have to put money away for? But again, you know, I, point taken is the board, you know, the board can decide how much they're going to... You know, if you've, got, if you've got a hole that you're trying to fill, you have to use different techniques in order to, you know, the town, you know, whether it was the recession, whether it was a philosophical thing, a lot of things went by the wayside, yes. right? It didn't happen. And so, how do you... How do you make up for that? How do you make up for it? In a way that where you're not sort of spiking things. Well, maybe there's a middle ground, putting more into the fire engine, and you're bonding not quite as much of it when the time comes. You could. I don't. I mean, there are a lot of ways to skin the cat. But yeah, you I, can do you it know. next year. You can come back because because the fact that we're whatever we're putting in this year. I mean, it, it's it's an exercise. It's a paper exercise, right? So. So we're not putting anything this year. And 10000 next year, nothing the year after. But I mean, you know. So, you know, just f to keep things, you know, low and feeling good, I think is a bit of a misrepresentation. Yes, but it's only happens, I think it's only happening for the fire engines. It's only in, because they're so, huge and they haven't been on it, and all yeah, of a sudden we're So what if we put in the price, if, if we subtracted what we think we might bond? I know that that gets even more convoluted and mass things even more. Um, so you say it's 600000 but 400000 is going to be on a credit card. Um, so well, that's, how, that's how it works out, right? It's how right. it works out. Um, you could, somebody could say, look, I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and bond it whenever it happens and take, a, take, take it off. all of the, the next one and then start putting it in for the, for the following one. Mm. That you could do it that way. But also, you get a situation where we have projected it out to a certain period, but it could fail before the target year date, and we'd be—it's a huge ticket. You're looking at bonding regardless of how much you sell. It could happen. It could, you know, I understand there's lifespan that they retire at, but they're also just failure, yeah. like the mechanical failure. And, right. Well, the, 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 twenty twenty six could be twenty twenty one. And there's the opposite of that, though, there. too. They can keep. They can keep it that's running true. for opposite. two more years, or, yeah. or whatever. I mean, that's that happened to one of the plow trucks. So they George was that. able to extend the plow truck by a year. God bless him. You know, that was a big help. So, so, so what? That's one thing the board could do. Is the board could decide right now. We're going to, when it comes, we're going to bond the next fire engine. We're going to start saving now for the other one. We can for the you could move all of that money into that line mm -hmm. and start to. So that that one is not bonded when it comes up. So that we're not playing. So that we know at a certain date we're not going to be playing catch up anymore. It, 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 it's only this thing. I mean, that's at least but, a plan. Yeah. It's a, well, this is this is only a plan. Remember, it's this is it, it's all a plan. It's all a plan. And plans, as we all know, all right, so are subject to change. Are uh, you know uh, what makes God laugh when man makes plans? So <laughs> people <laughs> change. Right? You haven't heard that. Change. <laughs> change. Change. Lots of things change. So. 
I mean, anything can change at any time. So I think, I, and I think, Caroline, your point is, if it, even though it can change at any time, it's better to have more money put away than not. When you know you're going to spend it. When you know, when you know you're going to have to spend it, you're going to have, you're going to have to keep the fire trucks going. You're going to have to keep the roads plowed. You're going to have to do those things. And so eventually, the money's going to have to be spent. The town has the final say. And, oh, yes no, or no, no, the, the town does it. On the one article, article. Yes or no. And regardless how we pay for it, like, it's coming from tax rate. You know. And, uh, right. We're going to have to buy this stuff. Period. Well, it's, well it's, it's true. It's, it's true, but at least we're doing something about it that we weren't doing right. ten years ago. See the pictures. You can see where the problems are, and that is a huge thing. Right? I take I use a school that's example. Look at how far that's come. I, it's only four years, and it's you got to walk into the difference. Place. Yeah, four years. Yeah, but that 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 is due directly to the facilities director. Done well. That looks mm -hmm. good. So, if you want me to do a noodle that. You know, just for the board to consider that takes out the next fire engine entirely and starts putting it into the next one. I can do that. Um, just so, so the board can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So that won't change any. So you would take all the allocations and just move it to for the twenty thirty. Yes. Outlay. But we'd start. We'd, we'd be starting. Mm -hmm. We'd be starting it now. So we'd have it be on however, however, one hundred eighty thousand. Which, which, which is absolutely right, it, it, because with a 20-year lifespan, I mean, that's, that's the right, that, that's the right mm -hmm. way to be doing it. Is it yeah. This is the one we That's just, the one we just bought, so 2030 would be... No, no, no is that the one we just bought, or is it a different one? The one we just bought. bought. No, then it would be, if, with a 20-year lifespan, it comes out. 2038? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I'm yes. not, well... In terms, of your math is right. I'm not sure what he would say is a lifespan of a fire truck. Fifteen. Oh, well, well, on the bond, we they they valued it at fifteen years. Okay. okay. And the, and the chief has said twenty in the past, but if if, if the bond did adapt, because they're not going to bond you for more than they think it's worth. I would like to see that plugged in with whatever should be there for the following ten years. Even though it's fifteen, so so whatever it should be over fifteen years, yeah. six hundred thousand dollars broken out over fifteen years, and plug that out for each of these ten years. Yeah. At least so that we're, you know, place it forward. Yeah. Put all the money away that you need to put away for the 2030 fire truck. Break that up into even payments and start putting away for that. I would like to see how, you know. As well as the replacement? As well as the next one? Well, I think we should put something into the next one, too, yes. But, I, well, you know, we're not going to get fully funded on that between now and replacement year. But don't forget, at that point, you have money put away for a fire engine, even though on the plan it was designated toward toward this one. It's going to go to something maybe else. It goes, maybe, maybe it goes to that first one. Because everything knows. is subject because to people. everything's subject to change in the way people value it at the time. Yes. Right. Well, we, when, when vehicles go out of service, it's, it's not because they're outside of, um, they're no longer acceptable standards-wise. It's, it's more because it's just become prohibitive to repair and maintain the item, right? I mean, I know there's a useful life, and then there's probably also a life where the American Fire Association says that structure's just too darn old, and it's it can't support the life support systems it has to yeah, have. Yeah, those kinds of things. Does that kind of lifespan run out before the useful Lifespan? The, the equipment, for the most part, can get switched out as it needs to get switched out. It's more about salt and heavy municipal right. use, running idle a lot, and being, you know, it's heavy use. You know, so they can retrofit it to extend the usable lifespan, but you can't stop corrosion. That's right. the stuff that kills Right. Us. So, right. Right. what was the okay. issue with the, the one yeah. we just replaced a couple of years ago? Because it was, all of a sudden, it, it was dying. It's supposed to last track? long. No, no, I'm sorry. Right. The fire engine. Oh, that had to do with the fact that they had the hydraulics they needed to run the um, to run part of it. They couldn't be replaced anymore. They'd been yeah, repaired. Right. It was something They'd been they held asked. together with baling some part of it that they, they couldn't. They just couldn't yeah, repair it. They could anymore. not. They could not do it. So it the actual the actual truck had to be yeah. replaced. It was the truck, not everything that was on it. And that's what George did with the highway department. Is he bought like another dump body and put it on a truck? Because that's what rusts first with the salt. So he was able to use the cabin chassis right. another year, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he got rid of what really, right. you know, corroded. Possibly. And we also got money for we we got we yeah. were, got help for that light fire truck, right? Yes. Yeah, so well, because it was a diesel engine that was being replaced, right? 
And we were able to get good money for the plow truck, too. More than what we would typically get when we sell so, those vehicles. So where are we with a fire engine replacement? How would you like this to start? I, I, you know, if, if it is the will of this committee to put all of that money in there for those years, we can do that. It's going to be a lot. And it, it, what it does is it, it, yeah, it removes the possibility of what is really a practical solution, which is the bonding. I mean, and if there's bonding, well, you have, it doesn't have, you know. I'm not talking about the 2026. I'm talking about the 2030. Yeah, we can put money. Yeah, I can take all of the money that was in the other one and put it, put it down. But it, it, it's going beyond 2030. It's going at least 15 years. I'm not ahead. sure that I would reallocate the money from one to the other. I would leave what the first one has so that you don't have to bond quite as much for it and just take the 2030 one and spread it out evenly and just start saving so that when the time comes, you have all the money for it. So what's that 20,000? So what you're saying... 40,000. Yeah, you do. 40,000. But it, adds, but it adds to the bottom line of every one of these 40 You're also dollars, getting so. interest on our, like the balance of this fund, rather than paying interest on a bond. You're, you're front-loading it. You're using your own money to your own advantage, rather than paying interest later. May I ask what the interest rates are that we're earning on the money we have in our savings accounts? I don't know, because I don't. Um, I tell you that um, we're making great interest on um, the operating account, the the other savings accounts, I'm not sure, but like unprecedented income on. I know, firms doing a good job, so I yeah. agree with that. But nonetheless, but these funds don't qualify for that because they're other, I guess, trust funds are not. I don't understand it, but trustees of the trust okay. funds say it's different, so it's not quite the it's not the and same level of interest. But yeah. regardless, this is a suggestion to the, the board. It's a board decision, right? So we can. Right. Front load and load up all these figures as well, or leave them, leave them as they are, and they may decide to. Well, I think we need to add a little bit more to certain line items on the big ticket items, or if we if we put them in their head, they could decide to to back them down. Ultimately, I mean, this is our this is our suggestions based on what we heard from from department heads presented to the select board. It's ultimately a decision whether they're gonna, you know, whether they're gonna go from there up or down. So it doesn't really matter whether we, we add those allotments. Well, well, I think in terms of the fire truck, it probably makes sense to add the allotments, to put them in. And then for the board to, to know that, well, at this when it reaches this point, we don't have to use any of that money. We'll bond the whole thing. Or we'll, or we'll, use, we'll use some of that money to, to, to afford the bond, to pay the interest, or whatever we have to do to get bonded. And, and the same thing with the second fire truck. But, but the, someone said it earlier, it would be good to see what something is really going to cost. Well, it is there. It's just in future. It, it is it's there. It says it's future. Other sources, under future, future, yeah. right, which is a bond or future years. Yes. Right. So it's not like the cost isn't there. It's not like a year isn't there. But again, if you want I me mean, to add $40,000 to each of those years, <laughs> piece of cake, arithmetic, and good luck. <laughs> um. I don't think there's going to be much appetite. I don't want to speak for myself. I'm not speaking for all the other board members, but um, to pad the tax rate that much, I don't know. I think that's going to be a tough sell. I wouldn't call it padding. Yeah, I wouldn't call it padding. But, 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 I, but it, it would be it would be a very realistic tax rate. Much like when the, when the school know, said, if, if we, we replace the school and build a new town. school, realistically, this is what it's going yeah. to cost. Well, there was no appetite for that in town, absolutely right. not. So, so the point is that, that, that you, you kind of have to play a little bit of a game of mm -hmm. what, what, what can right. we see. Because what what likewise, what, I don't think there's any appetite to bond. You know, and we're going to potentially bond a building, and then we're going to potentially bond a fire truck in 2026, and then we're going to potentially bond another fire truck in 2030 because we didn't put enough money That's, in the... See, if you, if, you, if you say that you're going to bond the next one, then you could all of a sudden take that money and stick it to the, the 
following one. So now you are, so the, and that, that's a rational explanation. Look, we're in a bind, you know, we're, we're still playing catch up. Here's the strategy that we've developed. We're going to, our plan right now, and it's still, still, you know, a few years out, our plan right now is we're going to bond that one, but for the one that's following, we're going to be saving the money so that we don't have to bond that one. And that's a future plan, which is what a CIP does. I, I, I agree with that. That's the strategy, you know. And unfortunately, until we have that point where we address a real tax rate to, to really address these things, we're kind of following a little bit of our predecessors here by, you know, kind of yeah, soft yeah. selling, you know, yeah, tiptoeing that, in. That's my and we'll make it up next stuff. year. We really aren't. You know, one year it's going to have to be a big hit, and and then people will complain greatly. But I'm, you know, it'll settle in, and then uh, won't we have to be so drastic. But I think that, uh, you know, that's just going to be a tough sell. What's going to be a tough sell? Well, when the tax rate goes up drastically. Those are years that we need a school well, and, a, and a town right. hall and two fire trucks. Well, we shouldn't need a school, hopefully. Hopefully, things will, the maintenance will continue. Right. But yes, well, fire truck, truck, context, we, other but we know we're we going know. to need a fire truck. Yes. Are we really going to need a police station? I don't know, but let, let, let's find out. Um, I, I think those are the things we have to do, but we know that we're going to need fire trucks. Yeah. And whether it's Absolutely. 15 years, 20 years, or 25 years, somewhere in that range, we're going to need, yep. you know, every single we're going to need a fire truck. We're going to need uh, police cruisers. We're going to need to replace vi given. vehicles. <laughs> I mean, those are givens. Whether or not, you know, when we build a new school or we build a new fire station, that's entirely, th those are, those are so big that it's almost Im almost impossible to to figure out. Right. On the flip side, we don't have anyone representing this building, and, and, and really knowing the day to day issues with this, like like you brought up the director there. Um, we don't have that for this building. You, you know, you know certain things. You know certain things. This one knows we certain things. We don't have it for any of the town facilities, not just this building. They're all just you know people who just take. Yeah, that's right. You rely on the on the yeah, fire chief exactly. to know the fire building. Right. And yes. Right, and, right. And, 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 you know, it's but that's why maybe this building can be retrofitted to, 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 to serve all our purpose for another 150 years. Maybe and that school, maybe get, like I said, the school itself is already, or, you, you um, brought it up that maybe we don't need a new school. Or, or we, we don't need 20, a new, uh, you know, Yeah, maybe yeah, we don't need it. It doesn't have to be 150 years. We don't have that person representing any town buildings. Anything. That's crazy. Except the school. It is kind of that's crazy. a lot. That's a lot falling on the shoulder of a uh, fire chief. Well, it, it's, it's way too much to ask for a police a chief to become so the general contractor. Get seven thousand dollars a year. That's for fourteen. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's it's a lot to ask of someone because, and one of the reasons we got a facilities director to school is that the principal was very clear about this is not my strength. I don't know it. Yeah. Buildings. I will do my best. I will talk to people I know about these things, and I will try to find out, and I will recommend. But but I don't know. And we can see the and it's results not fair to be expected. And it's not fair to expect that. You know, we can see the results, because some of the work, you know, other people told us, well, you know, you could, yeah, you did it that way, you could have done it this way, it would have been better, you know. But we do pretty good plugging away with, I mean, like you said, the drainage, I mean, that was a big thing, you know. Yeah, we fixed the membrane roof. So we did pretty good. For, but from my conversations with the school's facilities director, who has spent some time now in this building, if he could work here, he could do better, and he's got ideas, than what we can do without him. He can say, for example, we can switch to LEDs, and there's a rebate program with the state to switch all the lights over to LEDs, but if we had him working for us, he could wrap up the ACs and the boiler in that program, too. Well, there's, you don't have to sell me the benefits of having someone in the analog. So, so you know... We don't, we, we're still, so while we've done some things, and it's great that we've done some things, we're going to continue to be handicapped in how we All continue right. to we do things because we can't do things the way we know might be better because we don't. Or that somebody, we're not experts. Experts. somebody yeah, will yeah. be able to do better because we don't have the yeah. appropriate human resources, time, and expertise to that manage those person things. person that you have to pay that person. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. Yes. But, but that goes for every building, too. It Again, building. it's not just about... And, 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 what are, and what are the savings? By, by having someone who knows what they're doing and saving you money in, you know, maybe not the first and second year, but then really saving you money. Is yeah, well, we really don't know the state of the police, the fire right. station. We, we rely on the guy, and he, he probably has a pretty good idea, I'm sure. But, you know, yeah. it's not really his responsibility. 
you know, it really isn't. So if you look at it like that, that's... Uh -huh. But we're getting off a tangent. <laughs> well, well, we, well, yes, we are. So, um, yeah. what would this group like me to, to do to wrap this up and present it to the select board? I think based on appetite of the select board. <laughs> um, the board's not here. No, and I'm, I'm just here, based on my perception of what I anticipate it being. Okay. I'm safe to say. Um, you know, I hate to say that we're doing our own injustice by keeping the numbers smaller than they should be. But I think it's what we should do. I, I, I would like to propose that, that we sort of, the, num the number two that we're looking at here, I guess, is the one that we're looking at, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the, the one that currently has. The one that starts with 213, 215. Yes. That one? 213, 215. Yeah. Um, You're not looking at yeah, that's the first. 176. No. I wasn't looking at that one. That's, that's the first noodle. Oh, 176. Well, 176 is the second noodle that, that takes oh, the money. Oh, I'm sorry, I had it backwards. That then. takes the money from the okay. th that was in for uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I had it backwards. All right, so take the one that has the 176. Yeah. And and instead, start with 200 and just sort of even it out. I mean, come up with a... Yeah, nothing says it's a lot. It's like 10,000 even, maybe. Right. I mean, if we're, if we're in a... Maybe that's. I, I I know you can be more precise in the next two years, the next year, and then the year after. You can be more precise. Yeah. And the rest is really just guesswork in some ways. Yeah. Except you know you need to put money away. So I may. So maybe I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, so it's like you know, I don't know, seventy-five thousand for two years, then it sort of goes up to two hundred two years. So I mean, there's so, a lot, you know, I mean, there isn't, yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm fine with, 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 with this one, with the one, the one that starts with 176. But, you know, there, there's one change we're going to make now, and that is to make sure that the, the next fire engine is 2026, not 2028. It had 2029 funding. It had 2029 funding, yeah. And, well, to the extent, yes. Yes, to the building. Yes. To the building. Yeah, thank you. But if you want me to say we recommend to the board that they think about bonding the next fire engine and then putting money into the one that's following, I can I can do that. Well, we can recommend whatever we can recommend to the select board, but the 20, 2026 is far enough out that mm -hmm. it's likely to not be the same board, at least not in full membership. So no, right, but that's true of all of this. So it's just right. right. It's just here's the current. Right, right, it's recommending the, the strategy over the next ten years, which can all go up in flames. The next, the next board, whatever, could just say, well, I don't, we don't need a ten-year plan, mm -hmm. right? The cost of something to change too. Right? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So no, you, cool. you just have to work within that framework. That is, this is all subject to to the town, to the to the board, to the town, all of it. How do you how do you make it look so like rational? It's rational. Well, it does need to be rational and, and understandable. I think that's that's sort of the key. Um, so one possible rational way to change what this is is to say, look, let's just say, let's just recommend to the board to consider bonding the the very next fire engine, and then we'll start saving so that we don't have to bond the one that's fall. And then we can put money in that. Whatever the board, the board's going to do what the board does. It's, it's right. always the bottom line. But but even though this doesn't identify specifically bonding things, if things that we've been setting aside for each year do get bonded in the full amount, like you said earlier, that's a lot of money that we've already set aside that can <coughs> help soften some of the major expenses. Can you say um, it again? Just like you had said earlier, when we do bond things that we have been placing money aside for each year, like the 144 you had brought up, yeah. and when the time comes to bond, if we decide to bond the entire amount, then that 144, if using it as an example, could come yes. back to soften Correct. some of the other accounts, which is also going to change the CIP over the next immediate two years as well to have mm -hmm. that much in there. So 
You're right. It's a, it's a, it's a best guess looking at the next two years realistically, like you said. Um, and if we, and if the powers that be, when they see all of their numbers, not just the CFP, but you know, operating budgets to begin with, um, roads, roads, you know, yeah, everything, everything like that. That um, then there may it may be a situation where maybe they, they maybe may decide to set aside the even two hundred instead of the one seventy six and just plug an extra. Twenty-four thousand into another fund. I mean, it's, right. it's ultimately that that mm -hmm. point's plan. But I think that at that point, they're also looking at all of the money. That they have yeah, and that's that's a good point. There, you know, yeah. and to be able to look at it all rather than piecemeal. Right. I mean, the voters are going to see something. They're going to see things piecemeal, and that. But, it is, but, but people making the, the ultimate decisions of how it gets presented and everything needs to be looked at. Well, you say the voters are going to be looking at these pieces. Well, well the, it, it's separate warrant articles. Yes, but if there's a, an overall picture, though, of financial projections. Well, there is, and there always is. I mean, I, well, I about it's never, it's, it's not on the ballot. The, the overall is not, it's it, never on the ballot. It takes That's someone all I'm going and seeking it out. I mean, it's in yeah. the, the report. But I don't know that it was updated last year, the 10 years. The 10 year was not. Yeah, no. so. That was more of a symptom of SB2 because we would mm -hmm. uh, yes. compress time. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and and yes. I, I was grateful that I didn't have to live it. <laughs> Planning a bit better this year, which is why we're here in August, right. Right. October. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a fine suggestion to, to recommend to the board. The upcoming fire engine replacement. Put that on a credit card. I like the way you put that. Yeah, because it makes that that well, people can understand. Yeah, it's my money. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Um, and try to get the other one saved for. So I can make. Uh, I I could do. I could play around with that and send it to you all. Mm -hmm. And if you're okay with it, I we, I think we don't have to meet. We can just send it to the board. Is that all right? If you're not okay, then we'll, we'll ask Caroline to set up a meeting. Okay. Us, us yep. so. That's not good. So, do you want to come before the select board to present this? I'd be happy to. Okay, I think that would be. I think that's, that's a great. Idea. I think yeah. that's a good idea because it's. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I could do it, but it, I think it loses some of it. Yeah, but, that, but then, you, then you can't be just a board member taking it in again. So. Right. How do you go on with you? Will it be two or three of you? It depends when that is, and it depends what happens well, in the meantime. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be able to update this readily. Okay. I, may, yeah. I, I may not be able to get to this until, until next, well into next week. There's just a lot of things that we've got other things to so, so, thank you for your efforts. But I will try to get that in place and uh, sooner, because I know it's important to get this to the point of its hands sooner rather than later. So we'll try to have it in place. he was the very last piece to be sort of decided last budget season. And I like the idea that it would not be the first or one of the first pieces that you're considering because it frames how you think about the operating budget. Or it can. It can. That's, that's true. Yeah. Just. It, I mean, and, and it, because these are big pieces, I mean, it should be something that can be done. Well, for example, if you're putting away, if you're, if you're, if you're delaying um, the purchase of a vehicle that you know is having trouble, you would want to increase your vehicle maintenance because it's likely mm -hmm. to be acting up. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're good. Perfect. Well, thank you, folks. Thank you. Again, it won't won't see until the end of next week. Um,